Hey guys and welcome back to Minecraft Post Finem, where I have been tasked with the continuation of life on this planet, which unfortunately may have slightly been uh, completely wiped out by my previous civilization. And then I got stuck in space, and they sent me back, and now I've got to try and bring everything back to life. And to, uh, to this end, I'm going to build myself a couple of little boxes here. Now what are these for? These are, well, what I know as apiaries, but what the rest of the world seems to call as... Uh, bee houses. I'm just going to liberally sprinkle these around the orchard here. Uh, the orchard, definitely something that I intend to work on a bit more over time. As you can see, we've got a little bit of space for it, but it's uh, it's just it's a bit subpar, if I'm to be honest. It is a bit subpar, so we're going to sit down and do some um, serious thinking about that. Now, I'm going to throw in... No, I just want one drone in each thing. I'm going to throw in a Rocky Princess and, and drone for most of these, but this one in the middle here... I'm going to put a water princess in, a water princess and drone. Uh, the reason being that they mutate together. So, oh, oh, they're off. Did you see them? There they go. There's little, little bees off everywhere. Oh, they aren't the best. Uh, they will breed with each other over time and uh, eventually mutate and produce some other bees so we can start working our way up. Now, why do we want these bees? Well, every time that they complete a growth cycle, uh, they can output some honeycomb. And then with all sorts of horrendous forestry boxes and stuff, which we will get into over time, we can extract certain things out of the honeycomb. To begin with, it will just be honey. Which, you know, is nice. We all like honey. I think there's some beeswax and stuff like that beforehand. But eventually we can start working our way up to making, I don't know, lapis bees and diamond bees and stuff like that. And we can get, like, diamonds out of the honey. Wouldn't that be amazing? Anyway, the reason I was out here was today was supposed to be all about the Ender Pearls. Uh, as you know, we've spent a lot of time over the past sort of two or three uh, episodes slash weeks uh, collecting Ender Pearls from various things. We've got nearly, well, nearly a stack. That's not bad. Nearly a stack. Uh, I say various things because it's not just been Endermen. There have been many different types of Ender beings. Um, that we need to deal with, that we've had to deal with, sorry. One, two, three. I, I don't know if that's enough. We'll, we'll see about this. Now, I'm s making some iron here. That, that, that's exactly what I'm making here. Uh, so that we can combine it with these ender pearls. Now, I believe what we actually want... Let's just take as many of these as we can. Se seven's a good start. Seven's a good start. So we're going to come over to our alloy smelter here. Everything happens in the alloy smelter nowadays. What's... What's burning? What's burning? There's something still burning, and we do not have any fuel in here. Oh, no. Well, this is a bad situation to be in. I will be back in a second. Okay, that's much better. Wonderful. So we take this pulsating iron, um, and there's a few things we can do with it. Uh, one of them is to make the travel anchor. Now, this is because I want to uh, complete a quest. In fact, let's show you in the book what it is I wish to do. Uh, oh, I have an unclaimed reward, do I? Okay, let's go in there. Ah, I know what my unclaimed reward is. Of course, we put down the bee boxes. I'm going to claim the honeycomb because I already have a, a water hive. I've already encountered a water hive, so we're going to get that for uh, convenience of honey mainly uh, and then we need can do some stuff with it in a bit but we, we will talk about that in a moment the thing where I was here to do was this travel anchor so this is this is a nice little quest that we need to do now unfortunately for the travel anchor we need this pulsating crystal it's like pulsating crystal where where do we get that from oh it's a diamond and these pulsating iron blocks uh, iron nuggets, sorry. Great, we've got the pulsating iron nuggets, but this diamond, that's a bit of a bit of an issue now. So where do we get the diamond from? Now, we could get it from diamond ore, of course, uh, or we can make it, if I can if I can find it here, somewhere, in the chemical synthesis machine, which takes carbon nanotubes, which you will notice is four stacks of carbon, like, element, the stuff we've got back there, which, uh, let's just do some quick 128, 200 and... 64 something like that no 240 50 i don't know it's it's 200 odd a diamond and we have 795 so whilst we could do some i don't think we could do enough so i would like to somehow if at all possible automate the tree chopping process or do something for that the bees look lovely at this time of night Man, I would forget my own skin if it wasn't associated with my player file. There was something else I wanted to show you with the pulsating iron. So now that we have access to it, we can do some of that. 
and do this. And this gives us the item conduit. It gives us a lot of item conduit, in fact, per ingot. That's 24. This means that I could take something like, say, a copy of the Chemical Decomposer and, I don't know, say, another Igneous Extruder. Set up the Igneous Extruder dumping straight, straight into the Chemical Synthesizer and then have that feeding all through into the back of my periodic table in, I don't know, say, the little cave that we've got back there. In fact, can we just dig back and show you this? In all this space that I happen to have here. So I think that might actually be the next thing I get on with. And, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna jump cut here. Oh, yeah, just quickly make the chemical decomposer there's all this amount of iron and then the atomic manipulator is all these pistons and a block of iron now i do have uh, 158 iron element in there now but whilst it's 16 per thing i don't even have 10 ingots in there so maybe i can make the block uh, so i'm going to be spending actually most of my time ferrying cobble in there and trying to get right back let me show you i'm going to be coming along grabbing stacks of this stuff Going round this way and popping it in here and seeing what iron falls out. Oh, look, there's some. Oh, man, putting all this stuff together was some work. But it was okay. I got it all together in the end. Uh, wasn't really sure about how to make a few of these things. Like the Ignis Extruder, obviously, we worked through before. The Evanation Dynamo, which I'm going to end up feeding with redstone because we're going to get some redstone stuff out of the demo chemical decomposer. Um... Yeah, but I think we are finally at the point where we've got everything together. So let's go round the back here and figure out how we're going to put this together. I've got a nice fancy door here rather than the hole that I had had through the side. Now, where do I want to put this? Now, I've got a feeling I'm going to want to end up using all these slots eventually. Uh, so just kind of looking around. This, this might be a good place to put some stuff. Let's uh, make this an actual... Uh, ledge, that's the word I'm looking for. We're going to put the extruder on this side and we're going to put the dynamo on this side if possible. Uh, not like that, like that. There we go, brilliant. Uh, that should then be able to feed that in there. Okay, now, I've got one of these. Uh, I believe that just goes there. No, nah, I remember how this works, honest. Like that. Uh, and then somewhere out here, which I completely forgot to pick up whilst I was over this way. Oh man, suffering from heat stroke a lot recently. Ever since going to pick up this lava bucket, it's just been, ooh, it's very difficult, very difficult to keep my temperature down. Okay, so that's that, brilliant. Now we should have, we need to make some augmentation parts. Now I can't remember how this goes. I think what I might do actually, rather than mucking around and trying to make one on camera, we will go and steal the one from here because, you know, you guys don't want to watch me like do all this stuff. So if we come over this way and pop it all in here, we should hopefully, there we go, be able to spit out on this side. Okay, does this not receive in? Ah, uh, okay, we're going to have to feed in with pipes. Okay, let's try that. Let's try that. Let's see how it works. I mean, I would have thought with the augmentation, it would have done it just straight off. Okay, let's grab those conduits and see what we can do about it, though. Uh, there's going to be a lot of thinking on the go here, I think, today. I mean, that... That is definitely the output we want, is the red one, right? Let, uh, orange one. Let, let's try the grey. Let's see if that output's over here with grey. No. Is there any way we can... No. Okay, I think not. I think not. I was wondering if there was any way we could automate the process. Uh, I'm going to try like this instead. Um, I hope this works. Did I bring my crescent hammer? I did. Okay, so that's going out. That's going in. Does that work? Yes. So, sort of. Ah, uh, okay, well, let's try doing this differently. Uh, I'll take these back, thank you. Uh, and we're going to put these across the top, I think. One, two, um, no, do you, well, of course you don't like that because that is not where you attach to. Uh, that one, like that. Okay, so we've got an out, we've got an in. Now what are we seeing on, from, on here? Oh, not that one, this one, yes. Okay, now we're, do now we're doing it. This is exactly what we want. Okay. Uh, so there will be an output somewhere, I'm guessing there. Uh, and all the way across. Now, does this just do exactly what I want it to straight away? No. So, of course, it was because I had no idea how the UI worked. That was all I needed to do right there. We could put all sorts of, like, filters in and stuff like that, and that, that would do wonders for us to uh, streamline what was going on here. You can see everything is getting emptied out. Uh, we should actually end up with quite a little uh, stack of pyrite, iron three oxide, and magnetite in here because they don't actually have anywhere to go outside. Now, normally... Oh, hello. Normally, it would end up filling all the empty slots, but I went through and put all 
the cobble in place. I actually started off by trying to name them all, but that took all my levels. You can see we've got lithium and beryllium and rubidium and strontium down here. But by the time I'd done those four, I'd lost all my levels. It's five levels per renaming. It's not like in 1.8 and forwards where you get like just one level for renaming. But yeah, now we should be getting infinite of everything. The next thing I want to do as I was saying, is figure out some sort of extraction process. So I think what we need is a chemical synthesis machine here to then process the iron 3 oxide, this stuff, and the copper that comes out to turn it into redstone to then... Ooh, let me just jump up here. No, I can't, I can't jump, it turns out. Uh, to then feed it back into this dynamo. So it can just be a nice little self-fulfilling system. But I'm sure I'm going to get on with that at some point. Next, I would like to get on with the orchard outside we, we've got bees down in fact should we go and check the bees i was just going to be like i would like to go do the orchard and then go and think about how we're going to arrange the orchard but let's just go and have a look oh, i hate that bit i hate it it happens like that all the time yeah so we're actually going to need to at seriously get on with our bee area what's wrong with her no flowers oh i missed this last time i saw her she didn't have um access to the sky she needs some lily pads, right? That that's that's what water hives want was lily pads. Okay, we'll we'll fix that in a second. But we need to start thinking about how we extract from the comb. Now it used to be that there was a centrifuge. Now I'm not sure if that is still the same. Uh, no, no, it's con centrifuge with my with my super spellings. Okay, yeah, there it is. Centrifuge. Okay, we need the sturdy casing, which is just a lot of bronze. We can do that, uh, and then copper and glass you know what i think we actually have all that hold on hold on hold on yeah i knew that was a thing it was almost like they've set us up for it isn't it uh so we will go around and we'll do that i also need uh six copper correct okay so let's go get ourselves uh two stacks of copper element and six all right brilliant then we need some glass which ah i've only got glass panes is that that usable is that what we want no it's glass blocks so we do that with our infinite supply of silicon dioxide so yeah one stack will give us two bits of glass four bits of glass perfect it's fine i don't i don't mind anymore i'm not trying to do any more maths i've already embarrassed myself a lot during this episode with the maths like you know i know my powers of two i know 464s are 256 but for some reason i just couldn't get that right anyway we've got our centrifuge now does this need power i don't actually no, I haven't got a, I haven't got a clue. Uh, so we'll go out. Oh, well, I made that jump all right. Uh, where are we going to put our centrifuge? Now I feel it kind of could do with being over here somewhere. We're gonna we're gonna rearrange this this area, make it flat. Maybe put some grass around, things like that. Oh, I tell you what, I am gonna do. I'm gonna make myself a waterfall here. Uh, not right now. Not right now. Okay, let's uh, let's just pop this down. I'm going to assume that I can pick it back up using the tools that I have. This may or may not be the case. Uh, we go in there and do this. No power. This machine requires RF to do work. Okay, how do we make RF? Now, normally that's the generators and the engines, correct? I hope so. Uh, I'm not sure if the dynamos kick out. I mean, if we could run everything on dynamos, that would be good. Uh, engine. Now, I believe we've got a peat-fired engine, a biogas engine, and a clockwork engine. What does the clockwork engine do? Now, if I remember correctly, we can just do this by hitting it. Uh, so that might be the way we're doing, as it is, you know, our first way of uh, powering the centrifuge. We're not exactly in for massive amounts of power, are we? Okay, so let's go do this. <laughs> Ta-da! <coughs> oh, excuse me. Ta-da! Clockwork engine! So we should be able to just run around here and pop this straight into the back of the centrifuge. Now, I was having a look inside the B quest. Um, I'm not sure if this is where I want to put this, but we're, we're going to go with that. Now, I believe it's just like this. Yeah, this is how you power this. Okay, and you just keep clicking it. I'm, I don't know if you can hear my mouse. My mouse is quite loud now today. Uh, you just keep going until it gets enough power up. Now, you've got to watch the colour of this this little green bit here. If it goes red, you've probably gone too far and it's going to explode. But here we go. We've got some power going in. Uh, it says it's got no power, but we'll just keep it going. We'll just keep it going. Oh, wow. So I was waiting around for this to happen. What's this? What? What? These are all like mechs and stuff down here. I, I didn't... Even, are these a thing we can get into? Oh, man. I can't wait for mechs. But we've got to get this stuff going first. 
So whilst I'm waiting for this honeycomb to process, I'm just going around uh, reshuffling the bees, put, taking them out of here, popping them into here, uh, grabbing the comb, and just letting them mutate a bit more. Because this is how mutations happen. We do need to have, try and make a lily pad here. Perhaps that's something we can do. Uh, it was also right-click to make this work. We, were, we weren't punching it, um, so that's something to bear. Ooh, red, red. We don't want red. Uh, we've been getting loads, lots of beeswax, which is nice. I mean, we can use it to make candles and wax casts like all sorts of stuff the capsules are probably what i'm going to end up using it uh for a lot we can make some string and stuff what, what is this all, all sorts of stuff to be to be made with fat with wax so we're definitely going to need to make ourselves an actual bee place uh the lily pad incredibly easy to make i also wish to make a whole load of iron should we come and see how well this is doing we're already up to 311 literally the last second that i looked at this it was 300 oh, it's going up as we're looking at it isn't it amazing uh i want to get a few of these because we need to make a cauldron i was looking through the quests at what i could do to just kind of move things along a little bit here let's clear all this out uh, and one of the things that i'd spotted was was the water quest uh, let me just do all these brilliant uh if i come in here this one uh, you've noticed that if you provide the ink composer with unbroken stone you get better results okay that's that's good that's that's what what we want supplying the igneous extruder with a steady supply of water allowed it to extrude stone instead of cobble which of course we were doing at the one at the back now reservoir four reservoir tanks now i'm pretty sure we can do this the reservoir itself is just a cauldron in amongst some um, fused quartz and if I don't use my book we do actually have 32 bits of fused quartz inside here my inventory oh man look look at this uh, so let's just make ourselves a cauldron and see how many we get from one of these I should imagine oh it's two okay I need to make some more iron but that is no biggie so that is four reservoirs menu submit it's gonna like oh no it took them off us but it's gonna give it back okay we're gonna get some stone and we're gonna get some oh fluid conduits Normal quartz. I'm going to go with the with the quartz because that there's a lot more there than end of fluid, and maybe we can do something with the fluid conduit. Okay, so we're going to come back here, and then we're going to start thinking about where this reservoir goes. Now, is reservoir just meaning it's not going to make any water? It just receives water. I am assuming so. I've not got my pickaxe here. I want to just carve us a little bit of space. Oh, okay. Maybe not. We will put a little bit of space somewhere else then. <laughs> Um, to be fair, I do kind of want to bring this forwards a bit in a few places. We, uh, I don't really want to go too manic outside. Oh, hey. Yeah, get out of my face. Let's just kind of do that. Yeah, you, you die. <laughs> um, we will just kind of fill in spaces like this. Just to try and make ourselves a bit more room back here yeah no, that's that's kind of beautiful there that is kind of beautiful so we will fill in this boxy space right here wow add two buckets of water for an infinite water source okay we can do that let us oh, i've got one bucket of water here this is a good start it's not quite what we're after i tell you where we do have a lot of water though it is just out here okay this is now be yeah, infinite water source. Beautiful. We just need to get some um, liquid connectors now, right? So if we come in here and change the configuration, like this wants to be a blue one, yeah? Uh, and where do we get the liquid connect conductors from? Uh, conduits, even? We should have some over here. I, I Big fingers crossed. Fluid conduit. There we go. Uh, that could have that gone horribly wrong and sent us on another uh, dive into, like... You know, trying to sort stuff out. Uh, so once again, going to do that there. Remember how it works. Do that. Brilliant. And now we should have infinite water coming. No, not infinite water. Why is there not infinite water coming in? Uh, we want this to insert and we want this to extract. Is that doing better? That's doing a lot better. Look, you can see it empties and fills back up. Perfect. Put it on stone. And now it's just going to make stone, and then it's going to back up here. Ah, oh, beautiful. We've got a lot of the stuff that we need to deal with. As you can see, the copper is actually already starting to back up. We have a lot of copper, but this is good because we're going to make a lot of redstone. Yeah, 1,024. All right, I will be back in a second when I figure out exactly what else is I'm doing after I've tidied up my inventory a little bit. All right, guys. Well, we got a lot of stuff done today, not just for the bees, but man, these bees are definitely going to be coming along. I have rearranged the orchard a little bit here. Uh, got all the trees that we were missing, like the spruce. 
That was a bit, a bit savage. Like the spruce here, and we're going to get everything growing. I have been receiving many, many hints from Landstrider that I need to be concentrating on my rubber trees. So I kind of stretched these out a bit. Uh, what else have we been doing today? We have, of course, been working towards automated everything. Uh, apart from the thing that I really, really wanted when we started. So we have automated the process of all these elements here. Unfortunately, apart from carbon, which was kind of the one that I was after, so I'm not sure what we're going to do about that. Uh, something to do with automatic tree felling. That, unfortunately, won't happen until we get some more forestry stuff underway, I think. But anyway, I am running out of time, and I've got to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, guys. I will see you next time when we're going to build ourselves a little bee hut so we know where to do stuff from. Oh, incidentally, I am leaving those uranium just there so I can see what happens when they actually decay. I think they turn into lead, because that's what actually happens with uranium when it decays. But yeah. Anyway, I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!